Okay, the first question of today, uh, it's on page 15 if you want to follow along on a piece of paper of the handout. I'll just make a note here. Page 15. This one, you have a cylinder on a slope. Ooh, inclined planes have returned. Cylinder can mean something like your water bottle like that. Okay, imagine you're looking at the side view here. That's what you're seeing on these four diagrams. Okay, the contact force, normal reaction force of the slope is R. So R there is because um, the slope is pushing up on the cylinder. That's why it's not falling through the solid slope. Okay, what else we have? A thread is attached to the surface of the cylinder. So I'll make a little comment. The thread is going to exert a tension force, T. You just mark it everywhere, T, 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 T. T is for tension, not thread. I almost said thread. Which diagram shows the cylinder in equ equilibrium? Equilibrium. This is what we're looking for. Take a close look at this, pause the video if you need to, and then we'll discuss. Oh, I say take a vote. Which you think is equilibrium? Okay, let's see. How do we know things are in equilibrium or not? Net force, net torque. Here it might be more useful to look at your net uh, torque because if you want to look at net force, all of the arrows are in the same direction. Okay, They're all like that, like that, and like that. So it's a W. There's an R and there's a T. So if you put, draw them all from the center of gravity of this cylinder, in this orientation, it's the same everywhere. It's just the T is moving up and down. But you can move vectors around. So net force doesn't give us a lot of information. So you can say net force is zero. Okay, one last thing to worry about. What about the net torque? We will need to choose a pivot point. So this object is going to rotate about some point. Let's 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 choose the center as the pivot point in all these diagrams. Okay, now you need to see which one will have a zero net torque about your pivot point. In this case, remember, oh man, you see all these, uh, the, not all the forces are exactly perpendicular to your, uh, to your pivot rod like what we did before but it's more convenient in this case if you want to check the torque to use torque equals to force times perpendicular distance hint hint let's check through it first one in a tension r is acting on the pivot so r is not going to cause any torque at all okay so r uh, w is also acting on the pivot okay so that's zero torque T has some perpendicular distance here. So it's going to cause a torque. Mm -mm. This one will have some torque because of T. Anti-clockwise, I should say. So nope, not that one. Okay, let's look at B. B is almost the same thing. R has is not going to cause a torque. W is not going to cause a torque. T has moved in front a little bit. But it's still the same perpendicular distance. Ah, yeah. Wait, no, it's a little bit less perpendicular distance. So you're going to have another anti-clockwise torque. Mm -mm, not B. Let's look at C. Ooh, look at that. All their line of, in, a line of actions intersect. So I should make a note. Line of action. We mentioned this term in the talk of a couple video. Line of action intersect. Lines of action. They all intersect at the pivot one more. So there's no perpendicular distance for any of these forces. So no torque from R, no torque W, no, no torque from T. In this case, uh -huh, I think this is what we are looking for. So net torque here is zero. For fun, let's just look at the last one as well, D. R and W acting on the pivot, no torque. T has some perpendicular distance, so somewhere here, that's the perpendicular distance. 
So there will be a net torque clockwise this way. Mm. So this way we can check. Firstly, your resultant force, all the forces are just in the same direction, just at different locations. So we need to check the torque, whether this uh, cylinder, this water bottle will rotate or not. Okay, so this is how you can think about round objects. Remember, there is one challenge question called the Segway question on page 22. It's in the practice exercise, so no worries, you can check it out later. Just a warning. This is application of this same idea, but it is it can seem hard because there's a lot of words and you have to try to figure out what's going on. 